slightly a different change as I've got one of my Volvos up there we're actually going to be looking at my buses today so starting off with this Volvo B9 TL Eclipse Germany um, I won this at in an arcade place I tried to colour out the destination boards the scratches and that bus is going to get repaint anyway and it's even got the paint uh, not painted I customly drew that into the black white logo instead of white it's getting a bit of a debranding it's even got I tried to convert it to a normal B7 but it failed but there was meant to be another wheel there but there's not so moving on to my Trident Plaques and President I really recently converted to uh, Volvo um, Yes, yeah, so this is now ran as a Volvo B7 TL Plaxton President, this is. So I am aware that it's missing its front bumper there. As well. Let's see if it can focus on the company name. There you go, Blue Triangle. Yes, yeah, so I'm aware it's missing out front bumper. I actually had to fix the destination board bit that's in there. And I also removed the um, glass screen cover. And I've got a paint that black at some point that little mirror, little mirror. Um, so yeah, Volvo Olympian very nice and old bus just like the president by the way this one is actually 2003 but I use it as um, a 2001 president and this is being used as a 2002 B7 even though it's a B9 yeah so we have this old um, KMB Olympian very nice bus. Um, this one's Corgi, Creative Master North Cord. And as I said, I don't know what this one is. Well, I didn't say that, but now I did. This one, I don't know what company manufactured this because, you know, this one, um, yeah. This one I won in an arcade place. The so next meeting, you know, you got an old Route Master. I'm using this as a 1964 one. There is a little bit of a slight dent inwards, if you look at it straight there. It's going inwards, because I kept on dropping it once, and it dented in like that. So, yeah. I'm using this one as JJD401D, which is a 1966 AEC Park Royale Rootmaster. So, two of them. That's not all the Rootmasters I have. Then, moving on, we have a Scania Omni City. I'm using this one as LX59CPK. I actually added sellotape for windows at the front and the sides, and as it's got no rear window. So, yeah, so it's got tape all around it. Then you have another old Rootmaster, 1964. Two more 1964 Rootmasters. Two Matchbox Leyland Olympians. Very nice buses. Both these old Leyland Olympians are. Two more 1964 Rootmasters, 1950s Rootmaster, 2012 Rootmaster. Then we have this 2011 Scania Iris R i6 from Kingsbury. This is a Oxford diecast vehicle. Very nice bus. And then you got three Setras. Let's see, I'm quickly checking if it has a company under it. Same company as what made this G2, but G1, G2 mix, by the way. Let me check real quick. Oh, by the way, it does have opening doors. And that. Just not... Yeah, so this does have the opening doors, just like that there. The company is HTI, by, by the looks of it, on the undercarriage. So, yeah, putting that back. This we need to know, this is... This is actually my first coach. This is actually my first coach I've ever got. Yeah, so I think I got it when I was like two, three. And yet it's still here today. That's what I'm saying it is. Oh, by the way, that president was um, a week or two old now from me. Exactly like this Plaxton Premier 350. I'm currently using this as YBN 106. And as you can see, it's got the correct style mirror arm that I needed as well. 
Then you've got this little dart bus I'm using as an Enviro 200 YX14RXK. Two little school buses. I don't know what company made them. I'm currently using these as Opto Silos. MX04 BMA and MX05 OUE. Scanny Romney City. CN94. Um, the doors are on a different side though. Very nice bus. It's missing a mirror. Then we're using this one as YX14 RXJ, which is another one of these that I'm using as an Enviro 200. This one I'm using as a Morbus X Morbus 2237 HF05HXG. This dart, because I can't get hold of any of them. They've got a little coach I'm currently using as a mini Plaxton. Hold on. Paragon. I'm using this little red bus as SF07KCE. And I'm using this as Y259NZG, which is a Scania Solar. And SF07KCE is actually another one of the Enviro 200s. Right, so that's my lineup of buses for today. So we're going back down the line right now. Right, let me quickly get up. Just barely see me in the reflection there. Holding me form. Tripping over stuff. Moving over here, we just got a bunch of trucks. Scania, man, MEN, of course. Scania, MEN, there's a little Mercedes down there. Mercedes. Iveco and DAF. Then over here, ERF, Scania, Scania again, unbranded Volvo, another Volvo, two more Scanias, this TNT one and then this one here, Volvo, Volvo, and then right here, Scania. And then up here, we've got my car, this one, this one I'm still repainting. Ferrari Enzo, Aston Martin GT, and to go in for a repaint is the Chevrolet Camaro. So yeah, and that is everything for today. Oh, and by the way, this is like my own little home paper made fire alarm system as I can't get a real life one, so I've made one them. I'm making a custom made call point. I did have elements in it. Ooh, I did have elements in this already, but it's now gone. Which I do have more of somewhere. Oh, here it is. So, the next one. So, I'm going to be reusing this one soon. Reusing it. Alarm. Alarm. Little paper made pool station. My little paper made notes. Yeah, yeah, this is actually my second one. It's my first one. I had a bus picture up here. That's why there's a little hole there. And it fell down, hit this, hit the old one, and then I had to make a new one. Uh, my homemade smudge detector I'm using as a Simplex 2098, even though I'm from the UK and we don't have any of these alarms. Another alarm, and another small pool station thing. RS3 T bar, Simplex 2099754. Two coach services, posted no need. And then we've got another smudge detector. Thanks, Fortune, and I'll see you all in the next video.